what is up you guys it's moon lust intuitive guidance 11 11 and i am back with another video okay i wanted to do something different today i have these tea leaf cards okay and i figured that we could do a yearly reading for the divine masculine so we can see what has happened in the last january february march April and May and what's to come in June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Also, we will get what his career, success, wealth, happiness, marriage, and love says. Okay. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get some energy cards for Divine Masculine and see what the energy is like for him right now. Okay. What do we have for Divine Masculine for the current energy, Spirit? What do we have for the present energy for Divine Masculine? Present energy. Oop. Way too many. Sorry, guys. What do we have for Divine Masculine for the present energy spirit? What do we have for Divine Masculine for the present energy? Lord. Renewal. What do we have? Ooh. Ugh. Lord. Okay. We have celebration. We have danger. And we have vigilance, okay? So, Divine Masculine could have gotten rid of something and it's like haunting him, sneaking back up on him, like something from the past. Could be a codependent relationship, could be addictions. Okay, that's number 64, which equals out to 10, which is all about completion. We also have celebration here, which is number 21, which equals out to three. And this is a wild party it may just be the tonic that you need, but be prepared to live with the consequences. So Divine Masculine might be going to a wild party, be tempted to, I don't know, um, get a little crazy. And Spirit said it might seem like a good time, but you need to be very careful if you know your, you know, what your behavior is capable of, okay? We also have a dangerous enemy that is posing as Divine Masculine's friend right now. Okay? All right. Let's get the Romance Angels. What does Divine Masculine have for the Romance Angels for the current energy? I wonder if we should get an, a card, like an angel card for every month too. I could do that. What do y'all think? Maybe. Worth waiting for, okay? Divine timing is at work in your love life, Divine Masculine. Religious factors could be an issue. Anything else? You deserve love. You are lovable, Divine Masculine. You Spirit says that you are lovable and that you deserve love, okay? Your inner child could be coming out feeling a little playful, trying to recapture some romance right now, allowing your inner youthful spirit of fun uh, side to shine, okay? Let go of control issues, bottom of the deck. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. All right, let's go ahead and get into what we came here for, which is the current, um, what is the, um, let's see, let's start at January. What was January looking like for our divine masculine? What do we have for January? Okay, we have boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So in January, that's when divine masculine realized it's like, he's got a, hmm. He's got to pick up the slack. He's got to increase his efforts a little bit. So something could have happened in January where he realized that. Okay, let's see what February was looking like. What was February looking like for our divine masculine spirit? Chair, empty. Someone could have left our divine masculine's life around February, okay? Could have been a friend, could have been a family member, uh, could be a relationship. Someone definitely left his life in February. What was March looking like for our Divine Masculine? March, heartache over what you no longer have. So after he lost somebody in February, maybe he was grieving a little. It could have been physically lost a family member or friend or just like, you know, parted ways. Okay. So that's what was happening in March. If that's your, um, 
Divine Masculine or not, please like and comment down below if, uh, if you feel like this is him. For April, we have feeling tied down or frustrated. So last month in April, Divine Masculines could have definitely been feeling a little bit tied down, a little bit restricted, okay? And in May for this month, we have changes in your life, the moon, okay? So there's definitely been a lot of changes that have taken place in our Divine Masculine's life in the month of May. What is June looking like? Uh-oh, this is the, let's see. What is June looking like, spirit? June is gong, an exciting event. Something could definitely be taking place in June, okay? Some kind of exciting event, possibly reunion. Okay, let's see what July says. Bowl, plenty of material things. So it's like maybe after this big uh, celebration, then you'll have plenty of material things. You'll have everything you need in July. Spirit is going to bless you in July. Let's see what we have for August. What is going on in August? Mm, we have some cat energy. A two-faced friend could definitely be approaching Divine Masculine's life around the time of August, okay? Let's see what's going on with September after this Sanika friend. We have goldfish. Increase in material wealth. What? Wow. So after June, you're going to seem to have an increase in your wealth, Divine Masculine, okay? You're going to have material a material bowl, everything that you could need. You're going to have an increase in your material and spiritual growth. Wealth, wow, what's happening in October? What is happening in October, spirit? Too much concerned with sexual matters? Okay, so in October, you know, you could be feeling a little frisky, you know, thinking about sex too much, but you know, that's a man for you. So that could definitely be happening in October. Keep an eye out for that Divine Masculine so you know what to expect. What do we have for November for our Divine Masculine? Climbing towards success. Wow, lots of success. It seems like after June, like maybe the beginning of your year was a little bit crappy, but it seems like the end of your year is really looking up. Let's see how you're going to end off this year. Let's see. Okay, Dis discord among friends or family. So there could be some kind of disconnect um, among your friends or family in December. Okay, winter, things get be a little cold. Might be having to cut some people off around that time. It could be this two-faced cat friend. That could always be the one that you had to cut off, okay? All right. If you're still here, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. All right, Divine Masculine, let's see what your career is going to be looking like. What's your career going to be looking like? Okay, we have younger woman, all right? So you could be dealing with a relationship with a younger woman, possibly at work. Because it's under career. Okay, I don't know what that's about, but you sure you do. Okay, let's see. Success. What kind of success do we have going on for our divine masculine? We have wall, some misunderstanding. Okay, there could definitely be some misunderstanding that's going to happen that's going to kind of um, get in the way of your success a little bit. What do we have for wealth? What do we have for wealth? Wow, wishbone, a wish is granted. So wow, you have a lot of wealth increase in your abundance and your spiritual material abundance. Wish is being granted. Wow, okay, what do we have for happiness? What do we have for happiness? We have shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Wow, so all this increase in your material wealth, you have to be careful it seems like. If you don't make the right decision, you might not get any of this. I don't know. There's definitely, you need to be careful, okay? So the shark doesn't take your happiness, okay? What do we have for marriage? We have I, okay? Psychic ability. Trust your intuition, okay? You can have an eye on you or you're keeping an eye on somebody, okay? Uh, yeah, trust your intuition, Spirit says, when it comes to this marriage and your life, Divine Masculine, okay? What do we have for love for our Divine Masculine? We have hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. So you're definitely going to be taking some kind of vacation. Um, yeah, when it comes to love, you could be, yeah, taking whoever you love on a romantic vacation possibly. Okay. That was fun. What do y'all guys think? Was that fun? Kinda. All right. 
Let's see. Let's do a short spread for Art of Our Masculine. Let's see what's going to be going on for just the month of June. How about that? Let's see what's going to be going on for the month of June. This exciting news. Let's see what's going on for Art of Our Masculine with this exciting news for the month of June. All right, two more shuffles. Actually, let's start off. How about that? Let's start off. I don't know. Should I do it or not? Or should I just leave it like this? I don't know. Let's just try it. It might not work out, but let's try it. Okay, let's see. What's going on for June, Spirit? What is going to be going on for the month of June for our Divine Masculine? What is going to be going on? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Wow, feeling left out in the cold. Someone could definitely be feeling left out in the cold in the month of June. Okay, could be um, financial abundance, loss of it, or somebody, it's come some kind of separation. Someone's definitely going to be feeling left out in the cold for the month of June. Okay. Yeah, we have the breadcrumbs card at the bottom of the deck. It's like wanting handout. It's like everybody wants a handout from Divine Masculine in the month of June. But it seems like he's not going to be given one out. Someone's going to definitely be feeling left out in the cold for the month of June. Okay. All right. Let's see. What do we have for the month of July? Let's see. This bowl, plenty of material things. What do we have for the month of July? Plenty of material things. Clarify for Divine Masculine, the month of July 2020 for plenty of material things. By the way, this is the manga Japanese mystical deck. Okay, okay, yeah. So for the month of July, there's definitely going to be Judgment Day in reverse. It's like maybe somebody has been unfair and something's going to happen. And let's see what the... um meaning is for judgment in reverse in this book okay yeah why am i ignoring what i know i should be doing am i attributing the call to something that really isn't a call in order to justify what i want to do interesting okay so something's gonna be happening you're going to have some kind of judgment act in the month of July. And it could have to do with um, you having plenty of material things. It's like you have to make a choice in the month of July. Yeah, you're going to have to make a choice. And you might just decide to go for it. That's just what Spirit says, okay? All right. Let's see what's going on in the month of August. This two-faced friend. Tell me about this two-faced friend in the month of August for our Divine Masculine Spirit. Tell me about this two-faced friend for the month of August for our Divine Masculine. Death, bottom of the deck. Okay. Someone that could be holding on a little too tight. Refusing change. Let's see. Tell me about this two-faced friend in Divine Masculine's life in the month of August, spirit. Wow. page of coins. Okay, this could be somebody that is offering you something, maybe offering you some kind of job. Someone could be offering you a job right now or in the month of August and you need to be careful. It could be of somebody that you're friends with or somebody that you know. Okay, they might not be telling you something, so you might want to be careful with that. That's what Spirit's saying. If someone offers you some kind of work maybe or some kind of offer, yeah, you might want to be careful. Okay, let's see. Yeah, page of coins. Okay. Yeah, physical world. Loves to understand how things work on a practical level for him. Yeah, you could definitely be... Mm -hmm, like I said, if somebody offers you that job, you might want to be careful. Okay. Yeah. All right, because you're, you're very comfortable, it seems like, with your wealth right now. You're very comfortable with how things are going, and so you don't want nothing to jeopardize that, okay? What do we have going on for September, okay? This increase in material wealth or spiritual growth in September. Spirit, what do we have for Divine Masculine in September 2020? 
Wow, the sun. Yeah, you're definitely going to be having a good, good end of your summer getting into September. Okay, the shut the sun is going to be shining. Okay, we also have Leo energy. You could be a Leo, you could be dealing with the Leo in September. Okay, if not, this is just a huge increase in your material wealth. Yeah, wow, the wheel of fortune, bottom of the deck. There's definitely going to be some good karma coming around for you, Divine Masculine, in the month of September. Okay, let's see what we have going on for the month of October. Too much concern with sexual matters. Okay, let's see what we have for Divine Masculine for the month of October 2020. What is this concern with sexual matters? What is this about, Spirit? What is this about? High Priestess, okay, I think you already know what it's about, Divine Masculine. Your spirit is saying that your higher self already knows what that's about. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. This is um this is like some kind of mental prison being all in your head. You're definitely gonna be all in your head in the month of October, and it could have something to do with sexual matters, obviously. Being all in your head, okay? Death in reverse. Okay, there could definitely be some kind of change in your sex life happening in October, so be aware of that. Clarify November. Oh, what is this? The ladder, climbing towards success. Clarify this ladder, climbing towards success for our Divine Masculine in the month of November of 2020. What do we have? Okay, one, two, three, four. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what that is. Can't. Um, okay, greed, hoarding, taking what isn't yours or wasting resources. Okay, so yeah, you could be having some kind of, you're climbing towards success, right? Maybe your abundance, material abundance is really high, but you want to make sure that you're not being greedy or not hoarding or you're not, you know, being selfish with your money, okay, or wasting your money, okay, you might have some kind of desire to waste your money in November on things that, you know, you don't need, and Spirit is saying to be careful with that, okay, you might also have some kind of decision, you could be juggling some things around November, you might have to make a decision, clarify December, this discord among friends and family in December for Divine Masculine, clarify in December for Divine Masculine, this discord among friends and family. What is this about, Spirit? What is this about? This discord among friends or family. Queen of Cups. Okay. You could definitely be using your intuition, getting into your heart chakra, opening up about maybe a feminine energy in your life. Okay, you could definitely be connecting or disconnecting. I'm not sure it's all depending on your situation, but there's some kind of discord among your friends and family about a queen of cups in your life, possibly. Mm-hmm. Breadcrumbs, reverse, bottom of the deck. Um, let's see. Booch. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal. That's that's already passed, though. Should we do that? Let's see. What do we have for this boot energy for January for our Divine Masculine? Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Mm, wow. Five of Pentacles feeling left out in the cold. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Okay, yeah, you could be experiencing some kind of financial trouble. You could have been experiencing some kind of financial trouble last January, this past January, okay? Yeah, you could have been the emperor in reverse in, the, in January, okay? Let's see clarify someone is leaving your life in February for Divine Masculine. Who is leaving his life in February for Divine Masculine? Who left his life in February for our Divine Masculine? Who is this? Who left his life? Who left Divine Masculine's life? Ace of Wands. Yeah, new beginnings. 
okay somebody left his life and yeah it seems like there's been some kind of karma that's ended with the bad masculine it's like maybe a karmic partner left his life around <clears throat> february mm -hmm. okay let's see what's going on with heartache over what you no longer have clarify march this heartache about what you no longer have what is this about spirit mm. Mm. ow strength yeah you've definitely had some kind of heartache in the month of march okay and you're you were definitely having to have strength okay yeah, something happened and it required you to have strength. Okay, let's see what we have for April. Feeling tied down or frustrated. What is this about? Why is Divine Masculine feeling tied down and frustrated in this past April? What do we have, Spirit? Why was Divine Masculine feeling tied down this past April? Why was Divine Masculine feeling tied down in April of 2020. Mm, watchful eye. It could have been somebody just watching his every move. He could have felt very tied down and frustrated because he felt like he, yeah, was just like being watched like a child possibly, okay? Someone definitely had their eye on him, okay? And we do have this eye here, <laughs> okay? Yeah, this could have been like a king of cups in reverse, an unemotional person, a little bit moody, Okay, and you could be hiding away. Okay, the hermit is going within. Okay, but um, the hermit in reverse, that's kind of like hiding away. So you could have definitely been doing that in the month of April. Okay, feeling a little bit tied down, hiding away. Okay, being a little bit unemotional, being a little bit moody. Okay, all right, let's do May. Changes in your life. Clarify these changes that took place in your life in May, Spirit. What changes took place in our Divine Masculine's life this past month in May? What? Ooh. Two of Wands in reverse. Hmm, let's see. Okay. Yeah indecision a deal falls through okay so there was some kind of indecision or a deal that fell through in may okay but june in june there's definitely going to be some exciting event happening in june okay judgment day judgment day is going to be happening in june you guys yeah wow the karmic wheel is going to be turning in june so get ready for the month of june okay Let's see what we have going on over here with Divine Masculine's career. What is this younger woman? What is this younger woman about? Dealings of a relationship with a younger woman? Hold on, let me put these cards back just in case. Oops. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you're still here and let me know if you like this or not. Okay, let's see. What's this dealings with a relationship with a younger woman for Divine Masculine? What's this about? Clarify dealings or relationship with a younger woman for Divine Masculine's career. This could have already happened or this could be happening, Divine Masculine. Whoa. That was way too many. Way, way, way too many. I do see the moon, though. Secrets. Moving on. I see six of cups. No three of cups all right let's see could be a third party situation okay we have the queen of swords bottom of the deck dealings of a relationship with a younger woman what is this about spirit mm -hmm. third party situation three of pentacles yep Divine Masculine could definitely be having some kind of third-party situation. Maybe uh, with somebody at work. I don't know. Magician bottom of the deck. Okay, let's see what else. Success. Wall. Misunderstanding. Let's see. What was this misunderstanding about for Divine Masculine success? What was this wall? What was this wall about? What was this misunderstanding about? It was, uh, it was about the sun? 
And it was about the Knight of Cups. It was about Divine Masculine wanting to give a romantic offer to somebody. Somebody was jealous or being immature, thinking that Divine Masculine, yeah, wanted to give an offer to somebody. Maybe. Hmm. Head in the clouds. Yeah, they thought his, they felt like his head was in the clouds and that he was indulging in romanticism and was just very oblivious. Yeah, they thought that he was just, mm -hmm, King of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Okay, let's see what else. This wishbone. Clarify this wealth. A wish is granted. What is this wish that's granted for Divine Masculine in the uh, year of 2020? What is this wish that is granted for Divine Masculine in the year of 2020? Clarify wishbone. A wish is granted. What is this wish that's granted, Spirit? What is this wish that's granted? Ooh. Queen of Swords? Mm, sideways? You could have gotten rid of some Queen of Swords in your life, okay? There could have been a Queen of Swords that was refusing to move on and you were refusing to make a decision with, okay? But Spirit says that sometime in 2020, that wish is granted, okay? So take that how you want, okay? <sighs> Clarify wealth, this vacation, physically or mentally. Clarify this love, this uh, hammock. Taking a vacation. What is this about? What is Divine Masculine? Who's he taking a vacation with? Who is Divine Masculine taking a vacation with? Okay. Two of Wands. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands. The world is your oyster, Divine Masculine. You can go anywhere you want. Spirit's saying that you can go anywhere you want. You can take a vacation, physically or mentally. You can go wherever you want. Okay, this seems like a good thing, but sometimes the burden of choice is heavy. So this was a good thing, but this was a very hard choice for you to make, okay? There are a lot of things that you want to take advantage of right now, but there's only so much in a day and energy in a person. So sadly, something has to give. The good news is, is that all the options look good and you probably can't make a bad decision here. Okay. So yeah, you had to make some kind of decision when it comes to love. Spirit's saying go wherever you can go wherever you want. Okay. Yeah. Handouts again. You, uh, or someone could definitely, you could, you could be given paid back for all these handouts you've been giving. Okay. Let's see about this marriage and this watchful eye. Let's see about this marriage. Psychic ability, trust your intuition. What's this marriage about for divine masculine? What is this marriage about for divine masculine? Keeping an eye, trust his intuition. What's this about? Juggling, juggling two things. Clarify, what is this eye about? What is divine masculine keeping an eye on when it comes to his marriage? What is Divine Masculine keeping an eye on when it comes to his marriage? Wow, his Four of Wands, 11-11, Twin Flame. Okay, so Divine Masculine is definitely checking out his Twin Flame when it comes to marriage, uh, keep using his intuition about this Four of Wands, 11-11, okay? King of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. All right, you guys, let's get a random rebel message. Well, no. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Let's see. Let's get a closing out message for Divine Masculine. What do we have to close out this reading for Divine Masculine right now? Whoever's watching. Mm -hmm. I act respectively of others. Yep. Balance. Give and take and being, being very, you know, light, caring, respectful. Mm-hmm. I hope purity and high esteem. All right, you guys, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you, you know, liked it, what we could have done differently. Okay, I'm always looking for more new ideas about the channel. All right, you guys, I love y'all guys so much and I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.